Hi, I'm Matt Ellsworth with Echo Incorporated. I'm here today to show you how to perform preventative maintenance on your outdoor power equipment and keep it running like new, season after season. The purpose of preventative maintenance is to ensure that your equipment operates safely and efficiently. It's important to comply with manufacturer's recommendations as to when to replace a few main wearable components, including the air filter, the fuel filter, and the spark plug. Most manufacturers offer a kit with these three components. To replace the air filter, close the choke and remove the air filter cover. Remove the old air filter, clean the air filter cover and case, install and properly seat the new air filter into the air filter case. Tighten the air filter cover securely. To replace the spark plug, remove the spark plug wire and cap. Remove the spark plug using the appropriate size spark plug socket. Make sure the new spark plug's gap is set to specifications. Install the new spark plug. Tighten the spark plug to specifications. Reinstall the spark plug wire and cap. To replace the fuel filter, remove the fuel cap and empty any remaining fuel into a suitable container. Make a hook from a piece of wire. Using the hook, guide the fuel line with filter attached from the fuel tank. Remove the existing fuel filter. Install the new fuel filter. Reinstall the fuel line into the tank, making sure the fuel line is not kinked. Another form of preventative maintenance is replacing the fuel lines. First, remember the location of the existing fuel lines. Remove the fuel lines from the carburetor. Remove the vent line and yellow fuel line from the grommet at the fuel tank. Using needle nose pliers, remove the grommet from the tank. The fuel line and fuel filter will come out with it. Apply a small dab of oil to the new grommet. Install the fuel line assembly with the fuel filter into the tank, pressing the grommet in place with your thumbs. Install the black fuel line to the carburetor inlet fitting. Install the yellow return line to the carburetor outlet fitting. Position the vent line behind the starter housing. Fill the tank with fuel and tighten the cap. Check for leaks. If any leaks are found, be sure to take it to your authorized servicing dealer. And that's how easy it is to maintain your equipment and keep it running like new. No.